Hello there. In this video, I want to show you how to build a 3D printed hydroponic system just like this one right here. In this video, I want to focus on um, how to build it in the first place, like uh, 3D print the parts and filling up the these parts with the medium and growing the seeds. And in the next part, I will be focusing on the programming and the electronics. Let's get started. But what is hydroponics anyway? Hydroponics is a way to grow plants, but without planting them directly into soil, but instead into a growing medium, which can be rock wool, um, coconut husk, or uh, clay pebbles. And then you've planted them in the um, growing medium and the roots get hang, hung into a mix from water and fertilizer, so the plants get their nutrients. In the case of this um, hydroponic tower, you also need a pump so that the water gets sprinkled over the roots. Additionally, you can add light sources so your plants doesn't need to rely on the sunlight, but instead on some LEDs. Now let's get into the build. The base of the whole project is this HD pipe, which has a diameter of 11 centimeters and is 15, uh, 50 centimeters long. You can get it from any hardware store and it's also pretty cheap with about one or two euros. Um, if you want to build a bigger system, you can also take a, a one or two meter long pipe. Then what you can see are these holes, which are for the, uh, which are the inserts for the planting pots, which looks like this. Let me show you how I built them. Here you can see a very fancy tool, which essentially just is a very sharp knife in shape of a little hook, which I'm using to cut the pipe apart. It's working very good. The next step is to make these little pots right here, which can go into the pipe. Um, I designed them myself with a bit of inspiration from Thingiverse. You can print them in PLA or PTG, the download links from Thingiverse are in the description down below. Also the print doesn't really take long, depending on the nozzle size and the speed, about 1 or 2 hours. Now it's time to fill up the pots. I would recommend using a thin layer of clay pebbles on the bottom, that is those little um, red pieces of popped clay, and then on top of this a thicker layer of something that holds uh, the moisture better, something like um, coconut husk or rock wool or what I have uh, took is those um, pots which are specifically made for growing things in it. And when you've then locked the pot in place with this uh, little hook right here, you are already done with the first part. And while you definitely could just screw this thing in the ground and water it every day, that surely isn't the reason why you build a 3D printed hydroponic system. And this is exactly why in the next video I will build an optimization for the whole project using a Raspberry Pi. If you don't want to miss it, consider subscribing to the channel and, and then I catch you in the next one.